This is a video for Gemini's Sun. Uh, the way that the Sun can represent itself can be modified by the house that it's in and any aspects that it makes. So this is generally speaking for Gemini's Sun. You can recognize a Sun in Gemini by their youthful appearance and their playful, carefree demeanor. They have got this capacity to absorb from their environment just the right of information that they need to get a grasp of a subject. There's um, a common thought that Geminis are the jack of all trades, master of none. However, a lot of Geminis have got specific hobbies that they really do understand at depth. Um, however, they might have quite a few of those. So Geminis will go to uh, look at a subject, understand it, uh, get to a certain point and then move on to something else, but they will come back round if there's something that they enjoy. Stimulus is the key with Gemini. So the whole time they're entertained and they feel like they're staying in touch with the current and getting information that stimulates um, the novelty and the excitement of life, then they will hang around, whether it's uh, learning a subject or interacting with another person or staying in a relationship, they need to be met with their mind with another person. So Geminis will only be considered as flaky if they get bored. And it's not necessarily a flakiness in their character, but it's this need for stimulus and novelty and the new, which um, can be quite difficult for other signs to match. So Gemini will hang around as long as Gemini feels that they are getting something from that connection, whether it's to a person, a place, a thing. They can come across as being a bit superficial, mainly because Geminis like to receive information because they're interested in what the content is, rather than the interaction of the relationship where they learn from someone and then give their opinion back and want to hear um, the other person's opinion. It's more, what can I learn from you and how can I use that as an individual and where can I go with that now? So sometimes that, that missing piece of the relationship can make Gemini seem like they're not able to go uh, too deeply with any particular person. But it's more about matching of minds. So the whole time Gemini is, is stimulated and um, feels like they're expanding their horizons without restrictions and boundaries, then they can actually be really good long-time partners, exciting, fun, and they have the capacity to really lift the mood with certain of the heavier emotions or when people get stuck in ruts. Geminis are brilliant people to talk to for a completely different perspective.